Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today. We're going to give some people a few more minutes to hop onto the webinar, um, and we'll get started soon. Thank you. All right, we'll get started now. Thank you again for joining us today. I'm excited to present all of our solutions for our logistics and transportation customers. Today's webinar will be going over all the solutions we have for monitoring your product while in transit. Just a little housekeeping first. If you're unable to hear me right now, please do check your audio settings. There's a couple of different options there that you may need to check. If you do have any questions, please post them into the questions box. We do have a team of people looking at them, but if we're unable to look at any of the questions or answer them at the end of the webinar, we will be able to respond to them after via email. Just so you know, this webinar is being recorded and will be made available to all attendees after our third session later today. Also, in our handouts section, I have posted a copy of this PowerPoint presentation. So at any point during the webinar, you can go to the handouts section and download this PowerPoint. So today, we're going to be going over uh, the intent products for logistics monitoring, do an intent system overview, discuss intent verify the mobile app, creating shipments in Intem Connect, reporting and shipping studies, and APIs. First up, the product line. We have several different offerings for our logistics and transportation customers, uh, several different loggers, devices, and software that you can choose from all to help meet your logistics and transportation needs. On the logger side, we have our CX500, 600, and 700 series. So that's uh, frozen to ambient with the 500, 600 dry ice, 700 cryo. We have the, with the 400 series, the 402 BXM. 
the 405 for dry ice and the 450 for both temperature and humidity monitoring. We also sell the CX Gateway. This is your automation tool. So this is what allows for automatic downloading, automatic logger configuration and starting, your notifications to alert you to temperature excursions, and also automatic reporting. We have two different mobile apps that we'll go over today. The NTemp mobile app, which is our full control app, and NTemp Verify, that is our download only app that is designed to give you all the value of a USB logger without actually having the USB cord. And it's very ideal for a lot of transportation scenarios, especially when it's direct to patient. And then we have Intent Connect, our cloud system. This is your control tower where all your data is centralized, where you can do advanced reporting, advanced analysis, control your loggers and your devices, and make any other settings adjustments that you need to make for your own unique processes. So why is the Intemp solution ideal for today's cold chain monitoring? There's several reasons that we think this is a really great solution for our customers. It meets the increased demand for cold chain visibility as well as automation. So it's giving you that visibility across your supply chain, showing you data from point to point, giving you the ability to make crucial business related decisions. And it has automation capabilities so that you can increase efficiencies and reduce costs within your own process. It combines Bluetooth data loggers with the Intemp and or Intemp Verify app on mobile devices and also uses gateways for your automation. All of our loggers are NIST calibrated and will come with a NIST certificate for GDP GMP compliance. And it is a highly secure 21 CFR Part 11 compliant system. To give you a little overview of our loggers, most of the loggers come in two different options, uh, single 90 day and multi-use 360 day, five day options. All of our loggers are Bluetooth, so they do not have any USB cords. You can connect to them via Bluetooth on the mobile device or our CX gateway. The CX400 loggers are multi-use only. And as I mentioned before, each one of our loggers come with NIST certificates. First up is a CX500 line. This product goes from negative 30 to 70 degrees Celsius. So it is ideal for frozen, refrigerated, and ambient shipments. And it is really our base transportation product. This is where you're going to see the most cost value. You can get quantity discounts it is cheaper than our other transportation loggers. You have the 405 and the 600. These are your dry ice loggers. They can go from negative 30 to 70 degrees as well, and are ideal for dry ice shipments. Um, the logger with the screen is actually a logger that we developed for monitoring COVID vaccines. So it's got the display on it. You're able to see what the temperatures are while shipping the COVID vaccines to different places. We again built that specifically to meet the demands of COVID vaccine transportation and storage monitoring. The CX700 is our cryo option. That has a range of negative 200 to 50 degrees C and is ideal for cryogenic shipments. The CX450 goes from negative 30 to 70 degrees and is also able to monitor humidity. It has a range of 0 to 95% non condensing for humidity. And then lastly, we got the CX402 logger, the XXM and the BXM. This has a range of negative 40 to 100 degrees Celsius and is ideal for many different applications. But we do have it with a blunt probe, which is ideal for blood and plasma shipments. 
it's also ideal for containers. So we have several customers who build these particular loggers directly into their own containers so that they have the visual display on the container and then they're able to just stick the probe through the container so that it's able to monitor internal temperatures. So that logger is ideal for both of those applications. The NTEMP CX5000 Gateway. This is your automation tool. So we do have the apps as well. The apps are for manual controls. So you manually download, you manually configure with the apps. There's a process to it. The gateway is what allows you to automate all these activities. It will connect with the loggers via Bluetooth. So that does mean that the loggers do have to be in range of the gateway. Or if you're using the mobile devices, they'll have to be in range of those mobile devices. And they have up to a 30.5 meter range. So the gateway will connect to loggers via Bluetooth and then say to send the data out via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. The gateway will automate the logger configuration and startup, automate logger downloading, automate basic reporting, and enables your notifications for temperature alerts or even just basic notifications for whenever a download is done in general. On to the software solutions. We have a few different solutions here, Intemp Connect being the main one. That is, again, your control tower. This is where all your data is centralized, where you can monitor loggers by performing downloads and do advanced reporting. It is a 21 CFR Part 11 compliant system, as well as the apps are as well. What that means is nobody can alter or delete data. So whenever you send a report to an auditor, the auditor will be confident knowing that nobody has been able to tamper with the data. It allows for notifications, again, with both alarms and basic reporting. It also allows you to do shipment creation, which is something I'll go over in detail later on in this webinar. On to the Intent mobile app. This is your full control app. So by full control, I mean you have full control over the loggers that you're using. You can both configure and start up the loggers as well as download them. You can get basic reporting in this app. So you can go in, download a logger and retrieve the report for it directly in the app. It also allows for real-time monitoring. And what I mean by that is, when you are in range of those loggers, so again, they are Bluetooth loggers, you have to be in range of them, you can view as many loggers that are in the range of your mobile device and view real-time data on the app itself. You cannot view real-time data remotely, however. You do need to be in range of those loggers. And with the Intent mobile app, you are also able to do shipment creation. Lastly, we have Intemp Verify. This is a very basic version of the Intemp app, and it only allows for downloading. This is really ideal for transportation customers, especially direct to patient. Again, I'll go into the details of the Intemp Verify app later on in the webinar, but at a high level, the only thing you're able to do in the app is perform a download on the logger. No user management is required. That's why it's ideal for direct to patient. It has USB-like data access. So it has all the benefits of USB logger without any of the disadvantages of it. And then just a really basic system overview here to put it all together. Obviously, again, the data loggers are Bluetooth and you'll put them in whatever container or package you're shipping your product in. That packaging goes on to whatever mode of transportation that you choose. So you can put a train, truck, plane, boat, or if you're also doing storage monitoring with, throughout your supply chain, of course, you can put our loggers into refrigerators, freezers, um, incubators, anything like that. The loggers will then communicate with the gateway or the mobile apps via Bluetooth. 
So the communication between the loggers and other devices is always done by Bluetooth. And again, you have to be in range in order to do in, or to perform any actions on those loggers, such as configuring and downloading. Once the gateway in the mobile app has received data from the logger via Bluetooth, it then can send the data up to the Intemp Connect cloud platform. The gateway is able to send that data to the cloud platform via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. You have both options there. And then the mobile apps can then send data either by Wi-Fi or cellular. You don't have to use one or the other. You can use both the gateway and the apps together. And as long as you sign in to the mobile app with your Intemp Connect credentials and you configure the gateway under the correct Intemp Connect account, all the data would go to the same cloud account into one centralized place. So it doesn't matter where you are, where the gateway is located, what device you're using, as long as they're all configured or signed into the correct Intemp Connect account, all that data is gonna go into the same central location. So now I'm gonna go into more detail about Intemp Connect. First thing I'll go over is security. Again, as I mentioned before, it is a 21 CFR Part 11 compliant system. It is hosted on Amazon Web Services, so we get all the benefits of Amazon security. The data is fully encrypted in transit and while at rest. So what that means is when the data is on the loggers, it is encrypted. While it's being sent to the gateways, it is encrypted. Anytime it's being sent up to the cloud, that data is encrypted. We are making sure that data is secure from beginning to end. The system allows for customizable password settings. So you decide what your security setting should be. You can dictate how often a Intent Connect user has to change their password, the number of times they put in an incorrect password before they have to create a new one, or how many allowable pass passwords they can use when creating a new password. That's all customizable to meet your own unique security needs. On top of that, all of the components of Intemp are privileged based. So you decide exactly who does what in the system. If you don't want somebody to have the ability to create notifications or logger profiles, or even interact with the loggers, you can set up privileges to prevent them from doing those activities within the system. Or you can give them full access if you want. For data, we have at least a 15 year data storage. So we will not purge data for at least 15 years, but more than likely we will not purge data for much longer than that. We have fully redundant systems with backup sites. So we have a couple of backup sites in the United States. And we have the centralized cloud account for all your sites and devices. So again, you can have multiple warehouses, multiple supply chain partners. Doesn't matter where they are, what devices they're using, if they're all signed in under the same account, all that data is gonna be centralized for you. Functionality. Again, the system offers a lot of automation if you purchase the CX5000 gateway. It can automate logger configuration and startup, logger downloading, provide real-time excursion alerts. So as soon as a logger that is in range of a gateway is experiencing a temperature alarm, the gateway will know to automatically download that logger, send the data to the cloud, and then give you a email and or text notification alerting you that that alarm has occurred. So all that is automatic and happens in real time. Again, you just have to make sure those loggers are in range of the gateway. And then lastly, you can automate reporting with this system. The Intemp Connect system allows you to do significant data analysis. It allows you to create shipments directly in the system and allows for remote device management. Again, using the CX5000 gateway, you can configure and start loggers or download loggers remotely. So they could be anywhere in the world as long as they're under near a gateway. 
you're going to be able to configure or download those loggers. Customization. This system is highly customizable. You can customize the logger behavior. So you define how often it records data, what the min and max alarms are, and how the loggers start up. You can customize the gateway behavior. So you can set the gateway on a schedule to download loggers every so often. And then in addition to that, you can define the behavior of the gateway to do off schedule downloads. So do you want it to download if a logger is alarming? If a logger has come into range for the first time of that gateway? So that's important for shipments. You can dictate exactly how that gateway behaves in different circumstances. And then we have customizable advanced reporting features. We have tools in the system that allow you to group data the way you need to see it. We have different reporting options. We have your basic reporting a single device and your advanced reporting with multiple device reports, which would give you the options to group and organize your data the way you need to do it. Intent Verify. So I talked a little about this already earlier in the presentation. This is a very powerful tool for our transportation customers. Again, this is giving you all the benefits of a USB logger without the disadvantage. And what I mean by that is with a USB logger, anyone anywhere in the world can pick up one of those loggers, plug it into the computer and get the data. Intent Verify allows for the same thing. Anybody in the, world, in the world can download this app, connect to one of our loggers via Bluetooth, and perform a download. So you have that same data access. However, you don't have any of the limitations of a USB logger. So with a USB logger, when you download that data, you then have to send that data to the appropriate people. You have to know who those people are, their email addresses, and everything. With Intemp Verify, when a download is done, the system knows exactly where to send that data automatically. And it gets sent to the Intemp Connect cloud account that that logger was configured under. So whatever log, er, account that logger was configured under, that's exactly where the data is going to go as soon as an Intemp Verify user hits download. So it's even more intelligent than a USB logger and has a lot of value associated with the app. One of the really nice things about this system is you can download these loggers without even taking the logger out of the package. And I know that's a big deal for a lot of our transportation customers. A lot of customers are looking for contactless solutions these days, especially with COVID. They're still trying to maintain distance. They don't want to open up the box and potentially uh, interfere with the integrity of the product that's being stored in that box. With Bluetooth, you can maintain a distance, download the loggers while they're still in the package without any issues. The app is incredibly easy to use. It is a one-time login, so you download the app, you sign up, and you never have to log in again. One tap downloads, and that's all you can do with this app. All you can do is download. <coughs> Excuse me. You do not, uh, or the user does not have the ability to stop a logger, to restart it, to do anything with the logger other than download it and let it continue logging. So there's some security behind this. It allows for automation. So again, when that data goes up to the cloud and it knows exactly which cloud account is supposed to go to automatically, once it gets up there, it's going to set off all the other features of Intemp Connect, especially your notifications. You can get a notification that a download was done in general through Intemp Verify. And in that notification, you can get the report directly. So there's your automated reporting. You can also get a notification to let you know if that logger has been alarmed. Now, for Intemp Verify users, while they cannot see any of the data through the app, they can receive the report if you choose to provide them with that report. In the app, all they can see is the current temperature and whether or not that logger has been alarmed. 
that's it. Whether or not you want them to receive the report is completely up to you and you can automate that process as well. So using our notifications, you can set it up so that whoever the downloading user is, that data will automatically be sent to them. So our system intelligently knows that downloading user's email address and then we'll send a notification to them with the report directly in it so that they can do analysis themselves. So how does this all work? It's actually pretty simple. In Intemp Connect, you just create a logger profile that has Intemp Verify enabled. The nice thing about this is it gives you further control over your Intemp Verify app and the loggers being used for them. So any loggers that have been configured for use with Intemp Verify will show up in the app and will be available to download. If a logger is not programmed to be used with Intemp Verify, then that logger doesn't even show up in the app. The customer or the Intemp Verify user has no ability to see it, has no ability to download it. So that gives you the ability to decide which loggers can and cannot be used with Intemp Verify. Once the logger comes into range of the person with the Intemp Verify app, they simply tap on the app, it logs them in immediately, and they simply hit download to download that data and have it automatically sent up to the cloud account. <clears throat> Only individuals with permissions can access the data in the cloud account. So again, the Intent Verify user does not have the ability to see any of that data except for the current temperature unless you as the cloud administrator give them the ability to do so. That is up to you. So again, Intem Verify is great for clinical trial customers or direct to patient customers in general. If you don't know who the recipient is, if you're shipping directly to the patient or potentially to a nurse or a doctor, you don't know who that person is until the shipment is actually created on your side, that's not a problem. You don't need to know. Again, this is like USB logger access. Anybody anywhere in the world can download these loggers without having credentials to that cloud account. So there's no user management. There's no need for them to have permissions to your cloud account or anything like that. They have the ability to download these loggers just as if it was a USB logger that you simply plug into a computer. And again, you decide whether or not you want them to see the data. You decide if they get those reports and notifications and that can all be set up in Intem Connect. The other thing I really wanna quickly cover with Intem Verify that I didn't mention before in terms of security is, one of the major disadvantages with USB loggers these days is, again, anybody in the world can pick these up, plug it into a computer. And the danger with that is, it makes it really easy to put malicious files, bugs, or anything that might harm another person's computer or network or anything onto that logger. So somebody gets a hold of it, they put on these malicious files, and then somebody else plugs in a computer, that's it. That's the great thing about Bluetooth loggers. There is no ability to do that. You can't open it up and just access the logger, even though if you take off the casing, it's even encrypted at that level. So there is a lot of security around this, and there is a lot of options to make sure that only the correct people are able to perform actions on the loggers, and that only the correct people are receiving data. Intemp Connect shipments. This is for more traditional shipments. And by more traditional, I mean, you know the origin and you know the destination. You know exactly who's receiving these loggers. It's probably another one of your affiliated warehouses. It might be one of your supply chain partners, but you know well ahead of time that this is where the loggers are going, where your product is going, and the people who will be receiving them. So here is where you do have some more user management, but you're creating more of a traditional shipment. 
So with the shipment feature, you are able to create locations, so your origin and destination locations, and then assign those locations to the gateway. Those locations are powered by Google Maps, so it's as simple as even typing in business name. So if I typed in Onset Computer Corporation, the system's gonna find the address for you and automatically apply that address to your location. But it then has another field that allows you to gain greater specificity with the location. So I can say not only is it coming from Onset Computer Corporation, but specifically it's coming from our shipping department. And it's going to be shipped to another warehouse and it be shipped to their receiving department or whatever part of the building it might be. So that gateway then gets assigned with all this information and knows exactly where it is so that you can more tightly control what gateways are performing uh, logger configuration and what gateways are performing downloads and stops. The shipments will allow you to monitor the status of your shipment. Now, keep in mind, this is not a real-time system. This isn't like cellular GPS loggers where you can see the data at any point in time during the shipment, the data can only be seen as they pass by affiliated gateways that are part of your Intent Connect account. But as they do pass by those gateways, the system will automatically update the shipment status so that you can see where it is in the process. And this feature allows you to collaborate with supply chain partners so that you can gain that visibility throughout the entire supply chain even though you may not be able to see exactly where and when that logger is without GPS capabilities. So again, with Intemp Connect, the shipments will automatically update their status. So you can see some examples there, the different statuses. So as soon as all the loggers associated with one shipment have been configured, the status will automatically change to configuration complete. As soon as all the loggers in that shipment have been delivered and downloaded, the status will automatically change to delivery complete. Um, you have a release status to say you created the shipment, but the loggers have not yet been configured. So again, it gives you some visibility to show you exactly where you are in the supply chain process. When you use our gateways with shipments, it makes the intelligence of the gateway a lot more functional for shipment specifically. By that I mean the origin gateway will be the only gateway that configures and starts a logger. No other gateway will do that. The destination gateway is the only gateway that will download and stop your logger. Again, no other gateway is going to do that. So any other gateway that's in between, that's at different affiliated warehouses or with your supply chain partners, they will perform a download on the logger, but it's not gonna stop them. It's gonna allow them to continue logging data so that you can see the data at each one of those checkpoints. So it's giving you that visibility. And then as it passes by different gateways, you can have the automation benefits of our notification so that you're automatically receiving reports as it goes from one gateway to another. Hey, Colin? Yes. You want to break for a question? Absolutely. All right. And the question posed is, why are single-use um, loggers maxed at 90 days? Are they only validated for 90 days? Um, yes, they are only validated for 90 days. Um, that is mostly to give you a cheaper option than our multi-use loggers. Um, and it's really designed for people that, um, or for customers that do not want to do return logistics with their loggers. So return logistics can be costly for some companies which is why we give them the 90-day single-use option. They use it once, no return logistics, and that's it. And it's 90 days because, you know, typical shipments, they usually only last a couple of weeks. Sometimes they'll go for more than a month because of customs and grassing borders, that kind of stuff. 
So we are making sure we're giving you enough time to use that logger. Thank you. Thank you. On to reporting. So we have both basic reporting, which could be automated, and custom reporting, which can also be automated, but in a different way. So for basic reporting, you have a single device report, meaning it is for one logger and one configuration of that logger. In that report, you can see an audit report. So who did what with the logger, who configured it, who stopped it, summary statistics, an alarm report, and the raw data. When a gateway performs a download or when you do a download with the mobile app, as long as you have notifications set up in the system, you can automatically get a copy of this report via email. So as soon as the download's done, the system will send out an email to you and then it'll have a copy of that report directly in it. The reports are offered in three different formats, PDF, Excel, and CSV. Then you have your custom reporting. This is for your multi-device reports, so more than one logger. Or you can have one logger with multiple configurations in the same report. You decide this is a very customizable report, so you decide exactly what goes into the report, how it's organized, and how you're grouping data. If you have a report, a custom report, that you know you need every so often, you're gonna need it on a regular basis, we have another feature in Intem Connect called report scheduling. So you can take these customized reports and then put it on a schedule so that you don't have to create them over and over and over. You put it on a schedule and that re custom report gets emailed to you at the frequency that you desire. These reports will include summary statistics for all the loggers together and separately, they include alarm report, and they include tabular data. And you can see an example of what tabular data is just to the right of that. So you're seeing the summary statistics for each configuration. So by configuration, I mean in the example you're seeing here, you can see that the serial number is the same. So it's always ending in 9344, but I did multiple configurations with this. And a configuration is just a unique start and stop time for that logger. So it is giving you the summary statistics for each configuration. The file types do vary for custom reporting. Um, so it depends on what options you're choosing. But in general, you have an option between PDF and Excel for custom. Now I just want to quickly talk about shipping studies and then I'll discuss how our reporting can assist you with shipping studies. So there's, Colin, before we move yes. into shipping studies, um, there's a question about um, how long does it take to upload data to the gateway? Um, is it impacted if there are a large amount of loggers near the gateway? For example, if there's a number of them in a single pallet. Mm -hmm. No, that's a great question. So with a single logger, the data download usually just takes seconds, and I do mean seconds. So it's very fast. And it's very fast even when you're at quantities of 20, 30, 40 loggers. Now, as you kind of guessed, the higher or the, the more loggers you have around a gateway, the longer the process is going to take. You can have as many loggers as you possibly could want near a gateway, and that gateway will be able to process and handle those loggers. But the more loggers you have around it, the longer the process will take. But usually for even shipments of, you know, maybe 40 or 50, we're only talking maybe about potentially a couple minutes. It also depends on your signal strength. So how far away are the loggers from your gateway? Um, how good is your Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection with the gateway? So times can vary, but usually it is very fast. Any other questions, Caroline? Yes, one more. Yeah. If I have multiple loggers that run every day um, and I'm downloading weekly, do they have to be re restarted and configured weekly 
when downloaded? That's completely up to you. And it, it depends on your specific needs. So you have three different download options. You can have the loggers downloaded and stopped, which means you download the data, they're completely stopped, and you'll have to manually configure them to start again. You have download and continue, which just downloads the logger and allows it to continue logging indefinitely. Um, that logger will continue logging until the memory has filled up. When the memory fills up, the logger will stop automatically and it will not notify you that it stopped. So you do have to be a little careful with download and continue. The last option is download and restart. That will download the logger, stop the logger, and start it back up with the same exact logger profile you used before so that I can start recording data again automatically. With the gateway, you can choose one of those three options to have this done automatically. So if you do download and restart, it's going to stop and restart the logger every single time it does a download. You don't have to do anything yourself. If you choose stop or continue, there'll be some manual work. So with stop, you'll have to reconfigure the logger to start it again. With continue, eventually you will have to either stop or restart the logger before the memory fills up. So you really decide which option best fits your needs. Great, thanks, Colin. On to shipping studies. All right, thank you. All right, so there are a few different types of shipping studies and at, the, at a high level, this is really nothing more than a scientific test. You have a variable that you're studying and doing analysis on. So with lane qualifications, you're actually assessing the shipment route. So from point A to point B, where's the product traveling? Is that route acceptable? Is that route problematic? Do you potentially have to redirect the packaging and change your route in order to protect your product? Lane qualifications can also be mandated by some regulatory bodies. Um, there's other ways to get around lane qualifications if you qualify other things within your shipment process. But that's all up to you. You decide how you want to meet regulatory requirements. Then you have package and container qualifications. So you're assessing the performance of your package or container. Is it doing well? Is it creating a lot of temperature excursions? Is it causing product loss? These qualifications will allow you to assess the performance of the package or container. Reefer validations. So validate the temperature control unit on trucks or containers. Or courier qualifications. How well is your courier performing? And there's a lot of advantages to doing these shipping studies. Now again, a lot of this does have roots and regulatory requirements. So regulators are making a lot of customers uh, globally figure out what does their lane look like? What does the packaging look like? Are they keeping the product safe so that by the time it gets to the end patient, you know that that product is safe and that it actually works. But beyond regulatory requirements, there's some business reasons to do this. Your own quality control. Make sure that your product is maintaining its quality throughout the supply chain process. Efficiency gains. So gain efficiencies within your supply chain and your monitoring, and then cost savings. And of course, goes hand in hand with efficiency gains, but you can also get more directly cost savings with different types of business analysis and different types of shipping studies. So there's a really a lot of advantages to doing these shipping studies. For reporting and how they relate to shipping studies and how it can meet all of your needs for these studies. We have something that we call trip fields. And these trip fields are nothing more than data tags. That the data tags will allow you to add additional information to the logger configuration, which allows you to achieve three main things. First thing is it allows you to identify. 
So without these data tags, when I see report, all I'm seeing is logger with serial number 1234 has been alarmed or has been downloaded. That doesn't tell me anything. I don't know what serial number 1234 is. I have 200 loggers out of my supply chain currently that doesn't really indicate to me what that logger was used for. With these data tags, I can program additional data into the configuration of the logger to say this logger was used on this shipment, went with this courier in this type of package, so that when I get that report, I know exactly what that logger was for. The second important action with these data tags is to perform analysis, data analysis. So you can take these data tags and group the data based off of your chosen testing variable. So again, that variable could be the lane itself, the transportation method, plane, train, truck, boat, the package type, or even the courier. So it allows you to group the data to perform the necessary analysis on that variable. And the last thing is distribution, and that's the distribution of data specifically. Data tags allow you to make sure you're sending the correct data to the correct people. So if you have multiple warehouses within your supply chain, obviously warehouse A is only concerned about the data of the loggers coming into warehouse A. They don't care about what's going on in warehouse B. They don't need to see that data. With data tags, I can make sure that the person at warehouse A is only seeing data for the loggers that go to warehouse A, and same for warehouse B. So again, I, with data tags, I can make sure that the correct data is going to the correct people. And then there's custom reporting. And this goes back to the analysis part of using data tags. Again, I can use these trip fields to analyze a chosen variable in my shipping study. So for package qualifications, I can see how one package is performing versus another package and make really important decisions. So one package, might be doing poorly. I'm getting all types of temperature excursions. There's a lot of wasted product as a result. I had to throw the product away because it was dangerous or no longer efficable. I can then make decisions such as I need to spend more money on a higher grade packaging that will prevent the massive amount of product loss. I save money that way and I'm ensuring high quality product throughout the supply chain. Or it might be the other way. I might see that a package is doing great. There's no temperature excursions at all. With that, I might be able to say something like, well, let's try a cheaper package then. It might have some loss, but it may be acceptable loss in your eyes. And by switching to this cheaper package, I'm saving money, especially in comparison to that acceptable product loss. So these data tags really help to make these types of business decisions. You can do it with couriers, how well is a courier performing. Um, you can, again, analyze the lane itself to determine if you need to ship the product on a different route or use a different mode of transportation. This custom reporting allows you to make that necessary analysis. The last thing I wanted to go over today is our API offerings. So again, we have a lot of offerings within Temp Connect system as is. We have a lot of automation built into it. We have a lot of customization built into it. Our APIs take that automation and customization to another level. And we have a few different APIs that we can offer. We have um, basic web service data APIs that can push and pull data from the internet Temp Connect system to other systems. So for example, we have some customers who actually create their shipments in their own ERP system. When they do so, that data automatically gets pushed to Intent Connect, where a equivalent shipment is created automatically. 
that shipment then gets translated into the data that our gateways need. And then the gateways will automatically configure start loggers and download loggers as appropriate as soon as the loggers that are associated with that shipment come into range of the gateway. So this prevents them from creating shipments in multiple different software programs. They don't have to create it in their ERP system as well as in Temp Connect. They just create it in one place, everything else happens automatically. Some of our other customers will use our APIs to pull data from Intemp Connect and push it to their Power BI platforms or the other analytical platforms that they may be using. So some customers need to do a lot more advanced analysis for their own QA, for their own efficiency, for regulatory reasons. We have the ability to have the data pulled from Intemp Connect or even pushed from Intemp Connect so that you can automatically send relevant, important data to your own analytical systems. We have single sign-on options. Some of our customers utilize their own homegrown apps. We can set things up so that when they sign into their own app, they're also signing into the Intemp Connect platform so that the data can be sent automatically to Intemp Connect as well as their own systems. They don't have to sign into multiple systems in order to send data to multiple places. It's just a one-time sign-in for everything. And then our most advanced version of our APIs is for logger controls. Again, some customers have their own apps and other customers have their own devices. They want these apps and devices to be able to interact with the loggers and perform necessary actions on them. So we can set it up so using your own app, you can interface with our loggers, start them up, download them, or have your devices do that automatically. So it gives you full logger control using that API. Just one thing to note with our APIs, development fees may apply. We do need to work with you one-on-one -on -one to discuss that API project if you are interested in it. So if you are interested in using any of our APIs, please do reach out to our sales team and then we can get the discussions going about what you need and what's gonna take to get the APIs set up for you. And that is the end of the presentation. Uh, I would like to now open up for questions. If we're not able to get to all your questions today, you can leave it into the question box. We'll go over them after the webinar and we can email you the answers directly. Or if we're not able to get it to it today, you can also at any point in time, contact our sales and customer service departments to ask some questions, put in um, order requests, anything you may need. And there's also a link here for our website. Uh, please do go visit it. It has all the information about our loggers, so accuracy, all the technical specifications, it has a lot of great resources, including our past webinars, documentation on how to use our system. Um, you can also go there to sign up for our biweekly user trainings so that you can learn how to actually use the system. So with that, I would like to open up to any remaining questions. Hey, Colin. So I have a few questions here. Um, sometimes when I sign into Intem, the, the Intent mobile app, it says the account, what am I doing wrong? It says the account what? Well, uh, it says the account is locked. Uh, that usually means you have entered in the password incorrectly too many times and you'll need to reset your password. Um, if that's not the issue, then what I would recommend is contacting our technical support department. You can go to our website to contact them via email or through a web form, and they can assist you with whatever issue you may be having. But that sounds like you might have been locked out due to entering your password wrong too many times. Okay. So if I want to access loggers remotely by the gateway, do I have to use Intem Verify and not the Intem app? If you want to access your loggers remotely via the gateway, all actions have to be done in the Intemp Connect cloud platform. 
there you are not able to achieve any remote actions through either one of the mobile apps with the mobile apps you have to be in range of the loggers they are bluetooth loggers so you have to be in range of them in order to perform any actions so the only way to achieve remote capabilities is through the gateway and through the intemp connect cloud platform so we do have a few different features that allow you to configure and start loggers as well as download your loggers remotely all right what's the advantage of intemp compared to other monitors so I think there's a lot of advantages. Um, with the hardware itself, the, the Bluetooth capabilities is the major advantage where you're able to use multiple apps and gateways in order to automate the process. So there's a lot of benefits to automation in general, um, especially in terms of efficiency and cost savings. You have higher security with Bluetooth loggers. So again, with USB loggers, Anybody can put a malicious file on that logger really easily. With Bluetooth loggers, everything is highly secure and encrypted from end to end. And then you have um, all the automation and customization benefits of our system. So again, you can get automatic downloading, automatic logger configuration and startup, automatic reporting, um notifications for whenever a temperature or humidity excursion occurs uh direct automated reporting so you can get in an email the report itself automatically so this system offers a lot of value especially when it comes to cost savings with your supply chain monitoring but also giving you the ability to analyze a lot of data in different ways so that you can make business decisions. So the system gives you that capability to help you achieve cost savings in multiple different ways. And of course, the main reason everybody does this is for regulatory reasons. Our system meets GDP, GMP, FDA, CDC, and other global regulations. So if you have regulatory requirements, this system first and foremost meets those needs, but then gives you the additional value of allowing you to achieve business related decisions, do QA analysis, cost savings, efficiency gains, and all of that. All right. Is the presentation available on the website or can this be emailed to us? So if you go to the handouts section, of the control panel for GoToWebinar. You'll find the presentation and the handouts there, which you can download now. Okay. Um, is there a way to pull reporting every time it logs temperature versus just the min and max temps? You cannot, so it's not a real-time system where you're gonna get um, updated data every single time the logger logs data. A download has to occur for you to get that data. And that download can be done on a schedule with the gateway or it can be done off schedule at any time you want through the gateway or through the mobile apps. We are looking to release uh, new offerings for GPS cellular logger sometime next year that will give you that full real-time remote monitoring capability. Uh, but as of right now, the only way to achieve data is to perform a download either on a schedule with the gateways or off schedule with the gateway or the mobile apps. And when you do that download, you'll get more than Minimax. You'll get the raw data. So every single um, logging interval, you'll get the data for. You'll get summary statistics, an alarm report, an audit report, everything you should possibly need in order to do any analysis that you're looking to do. All right, I think that's the last of the questions we have so far. Is there anyone else who has other questions they'd like to ask? Going once, going twice, 
Uh, this happens all the time. But <laughs> well, it's because you uh, you <laughs> jinxed it. Yeah, she's the captain in the beauty right. So I have a high temp alarm I need to download in order to see that data remotely. Oh, if that's you, a, so if I have a high temp alarm, do I need to download in order to see the data remotely? So if you have a gateway, the gateway can be programmed to download that logger immediately and automatically so that you don't have to manually perform a download. If you do not have a gateway, you will have to be in range of the loggers. So you have to be in physical presence of the loggers and download them manually through the app. So the gateway will automate that process for you, um, which is why it's such a, a great tool and we encourage all of our customers to purchase. It will automate that download and reporting process for you whenever a temperature or humidity excursion occurs. All right, any more questions? I'm just not going to do a countdown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you have more questions and didn't get to type it in fast enough, um, there's a contact information um, you know, on the last screen and uh, or you can contact, uh, if you're a channel partner, you can contact one of your channel managers. Um, otherwise, we have customer support that you can contact as well. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining today. I hope you found this to be helpful. And we look forward to either doing business with you or continuing to. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Wonderful day for everyone.